Oh, taking a live look outside. 20 minutes past the hour now. Don't go anywhere. It's too hot outside. We're about to mix up some cocktails. Whether Irish, Scotch, bourbon, or rye, Texans love their whiskey. Serve neat or on the rock. Sounds like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Mixology expert Charlotte Boise shares three cocktails to enjoy while we're beating the summer heat. Welcome, Thank by you. the way. Thanks and me. just enjoy. I've just got start the best drinking. seat in the house. I, know. I don't That's know how a good I lucked seat. out, but I'll take it. I uh, want to brag on you a little bit. Oh. Besides being a mixology expert, which was a great title in and of itself, <laughs> two-time Golden Spirit Award winner, James Beard Award cocktail aficionado. Which is huge. Huge. <laughs> and director of brand advocacy for William Grant and Sons. So mm. how did we score you here at our little show? This is fantastic. Oh, well, thank you so much for having me. I've always loved talking about cocktails and especially Especially whiskey drinks. So. Okay, so if we're not true whiskey drinkers, mm -hmm. how do you describe sort of the palate of a whiskey? Well, there are so many different types of whiskey, and I've brought three different styles with me today. We've got bourbon, we've got single malt scotch whiskey, and we've even got Irish whiskey. So there's lots of different flavors. There's definitely a whiskey out there for everyone. Okay, well, let's get started. Yep. So the top tips would be for drinking whiskey in the summer, it's okay to add ice. It's totally okay to add ice. However you enjoy your whiskey, that's really the golden rule. You can add ice, you can add water, or you can mix it in a cocktail like I'm about to do now. All right, let's get started. Right. What is this one? to start drinking, by yes, the way? Yes, I think okay. it's this yeah, one. Yeah, Starting this with one? the tall one there, this is the Texas Buck, and I'm using Fistful of Bourbon. It's a brand new bourbon launching here in Texas, so it's an American whiskey. And this is a tall and refreshing cocktail, so we'll start off with the Fistful of Bourbon. And then okay. to that, I'm going to add a little bit of sweetness. Now, this is an Oleo Saccharum from Grapefruit. Ooh. Want me to say that again? Yes. What is it? <laughs> it's an oleosaccharum, which is an old-fashioned cocktail ingredient from the sort of 1800s. We use the citrus peel of a grapefruit. Okay. Mix it with a little bit of superfine sugar, and together the sugar extracts the oil, which is the ar aromatic part of the citrus, and you get this beautiful sort of sweet syrup that you can use as a base of cocktails. Where do we buy it, or do we? Just, you have to make it you for us. You gotta make it. Yeah. <laughs> Smell that. It's quite oh easy my to make. Gosh. And oh, if, I would drink that straight. <laughs> and if you don't have that or, okay. or can't make it, you can use regular simple syrup, okay. which is equal parts sugar and water. And if you can't master that, well... Then you shouldn't be drinking it. Exactly. <laughs> and we're going to top that with a little bit of ginger beer. <laughs> oh, I love ginger beer. Very yeah, refreshing. Exactly. And then we're just going to give it a little bit of a stir. It keeps it nice and cold and thoroughly mixed. And we'll garnish that, again, with the grapefruit peel. So here's a little trick that makes every cocktail taste better and smell good. You take your citrus peel, whether it's lemon or grapefruit, little spritz. That, a I'm, lot came out of that. Yeah. That, that impressed you. It did. Yeah. <laughs> and then we just drop that in. So what happens is if you pick up the glass, it smells fresh, and then the flavor delivers. So refreshing, oh. fistful of bourbon, beautiful drink for Texas summer. And since I've been sipping it, I must say, my complaint is that it's too delicious. Oh. It's too delicious. It's so that good. That is so oh, good. I can't help you there, I'm afraid. It's so good. It goes down too easily. <laughs> I love ginger is there alcohol beer. in this? <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> there is a fistful of alcohol in that one. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that one's delicious. What are we so moving on to next? So now we're going to move on to a single malt scotch whiskey, which traditionally you wouldn't mix, but again, in the right hands, any good whiskey can make a great cocktail. So this is Glenfiddich Fire and Cane. It's a single malt scotch with campfire smokiness and sort of toffee sweetness. So Ooh. really amazing flavors in here. Okay, so while you're mixing that up, explain a single malt. You said single, right? Yep, single malt scotch whiskey. So that is a whiskey from Scotland made from one single distillery and it's copper pot distilled. So it's the legit stuff. Okay. It's the good stuff. That's my, it Orlando me. loves okay. that. So we've got two parts of Glenfiddich Fire and Cane. Then I'm just going to add some apple juice or apple cider. Okay. And then a couple of dashes of apple bitters. So these days you can get bitters in every flavor you can imagine. Okay. So just a couple of dashes. This kind of ingredient a little goes a long way. So you just drop that in. And now this is kind of like martini Manhattan territory, so we're going to stir it. Okay. Nice and elegant. You yes. master this one. Looks like you know what you're doing. I, I, well, I like that. And I love the, I need some accoutrements. I was just, yes. it's so beautiful. I know. It makes all the difference. Beautiful. Yeah. You make friends quickly this way. And then this one we're going to strain over the ice in our rocks glass. Oh, look at that. We never use ice twice in the bar, so this okay. ice is important to keep the drink nice and cold. And then our and again, spritz. Yep, this is an orange peel. Okay, what do you think, Dee? How do you like this one? one? You, you definitely, I get notes of campfire and mm. my days as a Boy Scout. Oh. 
husband. <laughs> not because of the alcohol. Absolutely not. No. Because of the smoke. Oh and smell. wow! You like that one? It's so very different, right? So it, you know what this reminds me of? And um, tell me if I'm wrong. I probably have the worst palate for this. It reminds me of Muscal. Yes, exactly. Like That's the, the smoke smokiness. Okay, yeah. all right. Are right on track. Okay, let's Wonderful. get to the last one. Okay, the last one here. This is Irish whiskey. One of my favorite. Brandon and I went to Ireland in December, and we we you had drank some time all the whiskey. With the whiskey? Oh, we drank we, all the Irish whiskey. Well, we found one bottle that you didn't drink. <laughs> this is Tullamore Dew, <laughs> Irish whiskey. So we're going to mix that with a little bit of cold brew coffee. Ooh. So again, these are sort of classic drinks that I've twisted up for the summertime. So nice and refreshing. This here is a vanilla bean simple syrup. So I just added vanilla pod to simple syrup okay again quite easy to make you just let it steep for a little bit and then just a dash of half and half you can use cream if you wish although clearly not if you have acne um, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and then Charlotte you can she attention. listens uh, yes I love it <laughs> okay. and then this one we're gonna garnish maybe you can help me with the garnish here. okay so I've brought in some whole nutmeg okay so if I'm going to pour this on. Have you used these before? I have. Okay, so just on top of the drink, just like Derek already has, if you want to grate some nutmeg right on top, and that brings out the flavors, the spicy flavors that you get in Tullamore Dew Irish Whiskey. So, oh my gosh, okay. Touch. What do you think? It is so good. Charlotte, I feel bad. We've been drinking and oh, sipping. Oh, well, thank you. you it, we'll is, share. it is so delicious. Mm. Wow. Charlotte, so... My next question, <laughs> Delicious. I'm not the one asking the questions, but will you come back and see us, please? I would love to. Thank please. you. Please so come back and see us. Charlotte, thank you so yeah. much. More information on our website, of course, of all these cocktails of HoustonLife.tv mm -hmm. to find Charlotte. I'm taking all these home. Yeah. All right, after the break, this week, <laughs> I just toasted myself. Yes. I didn't even you mean to You got coffee that. to read, my all friend. Right, folks.